Hello. Uh, some time since I've done a vlog and I thought I'd do something a bit different this time. Probably a bit more serious than the ones I've done before. But I just feel, I don't know, I feel in the mood. Um, one of the nice things that's happening, or will happen later this year, it means that uh, Maureen, my wife and I, will have been married for 50 years. That'll be in August this year. Something to celebrate. Not a lot of people do that. Not a lot of people get to that stage. But the flip side of that is that three years ago in May, Maureen had to go into a care home with dementia. And she's still there. And she's likely to stay there, I think. Ah. The thing that's sort of provoked this, this video is that I've just had a letter from the care home to say that the cost, the fees are going up by 9.3% in April, which is an increase of something like £500 a month. Now, we've been fortunate. Uh, Maureen, both Maureen and I had good jobs and we had pensions, lump sums, which we invested. We got our own house. We've done pretty well. We're sort of comfortably off. Um, now, and, and we've, we've always sort of saved and invested and the investments, we've invested our lump sums and they've done very well over the years. Um, but a lump sum, however well it does, however well it's been invested, it doesn't last very long when you're paying out five, six thousand pounds a month for care home fees. And later this year, we got the money will get down to whatever the statutory rate is, about 26,000. And we'll have to go cap in hand to the council and hopefully they'll top it up. Um, well, they won't top it up. They'll pay what they consider to be a reasonable amount and we will have to top it up to if we want to keep more in, in the same place. However, enough of that. What I think annoys me more than... There are two things that annoy me. One is that any... A lot of other illnesses, Parkinson's, cancer, whatever, if Maureen had got those, she would have been treated under the National Health Service. But because she's got dementia, for some reason, this is not. It's up to us to pay for it. We've got the money, I know. A lot of people haven't got the money and can't pay for it. And presumably, they get it paid for. It may be that the money we are paying is perhaps going to top up other people's fees. I'm not sure. That's a bit, that's dangerous ground, isn't it? We'd better keep away from that. The other thing that annoys me, I think, more than anything else, is that we've had successive prime ministers. <coughs> Excuse me. In fact, we had one who stood on the steps of Downing Street and said he had solved the care situation for good. He had a plan and we didn't have to worry anymore. Oh dear, what an idiot. Nothing has been done. And what he was proposing has been shelved anyway, and it wouldn't have done more in any good. So anyway, enough of that. I have no complaints actually about the care that she gets. In fact, it was quite, quite amusing that on Tuesday this week, which was Valentine's Day, I was invited to go to a Valentine's lunch. And I've never been one for sort of uh, exaggerated romantic gestures at Valentine's Day. But this time I actually bought a card and a bunch of flowers and off I went to the care home and we had lunch together at her table with a red tablecloth, red roses on the table wine served 
and yeah, it was all very good. They did a really good job. Not sure how much Barney took it in, but no, it was a good gesture. But I think that's probably about enough that I, I need to say at the moment. Um, it was sad when, when Maureen went in because it was right in the middle of the first lockdown. And we had to take her and leave her at the front door of the home. We weren't allowed in. And we weren't allowed in for months. And then they were allowed into the back garden and we talked to Maureen through a plastic screen and so it carried on and this month February is the first time we've been able to visit without having to wear a mask and without having to do a Covid test first. So good old National Health Service they do a marvellous job but it's time something was done about the care situation. We've got a lot of people an ageing population and we've got to do something about it. I think one of the problems with governments, successive, certainly conservative governments, they're afraid of income tax. I'm sure that the majority of people in this country would pay more tax if they knew they were getting more services. Okay, that's enough of me ranting on, you've probably had enough of this, so I'll leave you now. Okay, all the best.